started, you need to memorize the squares of the numbers from 0 to 9. Then, focus on the last digit of each of the squares. Notice that some of these squares end in the same last digit. 1 squared and 9 squared both end in 1. 2 squared and 8 squared both end in 4. 3 squared and 7 squared both end in 9. And 4 squared and 6 squared both end in 6. The square of 0 ends in 0, and the square of 5 ends in a 5. So I will illustrate the method with an example. Let's calculate the square root of 1,600. First, look at the last digit of 1,600. This is 0, so you now want the square whose last digit ends in 0. There's only one option, which is 0 squared is equal to 0. So we put a 0 over here. Then we cross out the hundreds and units digits. We're left with the number 16. We now want to find the square that's closest to 16 without exceeding 16. In this case, 4 squared is equal to 16 exactly, so we will write the digit 4 here. Thus, the answer is equal to 40. Now, this was a simple example, but this method will show its value in more difficult examples. So let's go ahead with another example. Let's calculate the square root of 4,225. The last digit is 5, and that corresponds to the last digit of 5 squared, which is equal to 25. So we write the digit 5 here. We then cross out the last two digits. We now want the square that's closest to 42 without going over. So that will be 6 squared, which is equal to 36. So we write a 6 over here. Thus, the square root of 4225 is equal to 65. Now let's go to a little more complicated example. Let's calculate the square root of 841. The last digit is 1, and that could either correspond to 1 squared, or it could correspond to 9 squared. So we have two options of 1 and 9. We'll continue by crossing out the last two digits. Now we want the square that's closest to 8 without going over. This will be 2 squared, which is equal to 4. So we write a 2 here. So now we need to go to two options, 21 squared or 29 squared. To distinguish between the two, we'll use a genius method. We will calculate the square of 25. There's a trick. You take the part of the number that's not 5, in this case 2, and you multiply it by one more than itself. So we take 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 6. Then you append a 25. So 25 squared is equal to 625. Notice 625 is smaller than 841. So 25 squared is too little. So it must actually be the case that 841 is equal to 29 squared. Thus we take the larger option of 9. So the square root of 841 is equal to 29. I hope this helps you in your preparation or daily math problems. Whatever you like to do with this, if you want another part of this trick where I teach you how to calculate any cube root, for that, get this video to 10,000 likes, and I will make the next video on that topic.